वेलकम 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 सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मिल्क एंड आल्सो देयर सिग्निफिकेंस सो एज वी कैन सी दैट वी विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग द डेफिनेशन ऑफ फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मिल्क एंड आल्सो बट आर देयर सिग्निफिकेंस इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट लेट अस नो अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मिल्क सो देयर आर थ्री डेफिनेशन ऑफ मिल्क व्हिच आर रिटन ऑन द स्लाइड वन इज एज पर केमिस्ट से हाउ हाउ ए केमिस्ट विल डिफाइन मिल्क दैट इज रिटन दैट एज पर ए केमिस्ट milk is a complex substance milk milk is a complex substance containing fat in the form of emulsion casein and some minerals in the colloidal state and whey proteins lactose and some minerals in the true solution so this is the definition of uh, milk as per a chemist now as per a biologist milk can be defined as the natural characteristic secretion of the mammary glands of the mammalian animals to provide immediate nutrition to the offspring so a biologist will define milk in this way that milk can be defined as the natural characteristic secretion of the mammary gland of the mammalian animals to provide immediate nutrition to the offspring now there is also third definition which is also called as legal definition or definition by fsr the food safety and standards regulation 2011 that milk may be defined as the whole fresh clean lacteal secretion obtained by complete milking of one or more healthy milk animals or excluding that which is obtained 15 days before or 5 days after calving that is nothing but to make it colostrum free or other such periods so as to render milk practically colostrum free and containing minimum prescribed percentages of milk and milk fat and acid containing minimum prescribed percentages of milk fat and acid that is also given by fsr for different classes of milk now there is a, another line which has been included in the definition of milk recently that is the total urea content in milk shall not be more than 700 ppm that is total urea content in milk shall not be more than 700 ppm now uh, coming to the main point that is what do you understand by the physical properties of milk now physical uh, properties of milk are similar to those of water but are modified by the presence of various solutes like proteins lactose salts in the continuous phase and also by the degree of dispersion of the emulsified and the colloidal components that degree of dispersion means the size distribution of these components that is that may be their number or the or the surface area or the mass volume so all this uh, uh, the size distribution also affect the uh, physical properties of milk so again repeating what do, what do you understand by physical properties of milk physical properties of milk are similar to those of the water but are modified by the presence of various solutes proteins lactose salts uh, in the continuous phase and also be the degree of dispersion in of the emulsified and the colloidal components now coming to another point that what are their importance but why we must understand the physical properties of milk because some of the physical properties like thermal conductivity or viscosity can help in the design and the operation of dairy processing equipment so this this the dairy engineering uh, we will study in detail in uh, dairy engineering that some of the properties are there some of the physical properties like thermal conductivity and viscosity uh, understanding them will help in the design and the operation of the dairy processing equipment and also if you want to determine the concentration of some specific components in milk say if you want to determine added water content in milk then elevation in freezing point is a physical property which can help in determining the added water content in milk similarly if you want to understand estimate the so snf content in milk then uh, specific gravity is a physical property which can help in determining the snf content in milk so this will also be covering in the coming videos then uh, the third advantage or the third significance is that we can uh, uh, assess the extent of biochemical changes in milk during processing so what are the extent of biochemical changes which are happening in milk during processing that also can be uh, uh, understand and that, that can be also determined using the physical properties of the milk for example if you are preparing the cheese uh, uh, and we know that during cheese preparation there occur change in the ph there occur change in the rheological properties of milk uh, so the, these properties can also help in arriving uh, to the uh, definite characteristic of the product or to the definite texture of the product So we know that uh, during uh, cheese making there occur acidification by the starcher, and also there is rennet coagulation, coagulum formation is happening, and then that then the rheological properties of milk are being affected. So in this way, we can also assess the extent of biochemical changes in milk during the processes. So these are the importance of physical properties of milk. Now uh, some of the physical properties of milk are shown on the slides. 
सो डेंसिटी एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस इज अराउंड वन जीरो थ्री जीरो के जी पर मीटर क्यू दैन स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी एट ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस इज वन पॉइंट जीरो थ्री थ्री जीरो पी एच रेंज इज फ्रॉम सिक्स पॉइंट फोर टू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स दिस नोट सिक्स पॉइंट दिस इट रेंज इज फ्रॉम पी एच सिक्स जनरली इट रेंज इज फ्रॉम पी एच सिक्स पॉइंट फोर टू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स ऑफ मिल्क फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट इज दैट इज अ माइनस पॉइंट फाइव टू टू डिग्री सेल्सियस इज द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑफ मिल्क बॉलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ मिल्क इज हंड्रेड पॉइंट वन फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड बॉलिंग पॉइंट एलिवेशन दट इज मीस दट दम दट सोल्यूस विद सोल्यूट प्रेजेंट इन मिल्क दे आर कोचिंग द एलिवेशन ऑफ बॉलिंग पॉइंट सो दिस इज ए कॉलगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी दट इज एलिवेशन इज पॉजिटिव पॉइंट वन फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस Similarly, depression. So, depression in freezing point again a colligative property. That colligative properties we know that are those properties which depend on the num number of the solute particles, not on the nature of the particles. So, freezing point depression is again positive point five two two degree Celsius. Then viscosity at twenty five degree Celsius is uh, ranging from one point eight to two millipascal second or centipoise. So, millipascal second and centipoise are the same unit. So, uh, don't get confused between the two. Then refractive index ranges from one point three four four zero to one point three four eight five. Then specific refractive index is point two zero seven five, and electric conductance of milk ranges from point zero zero four zero to point zero zero five zero ohm inverse centimeter inverse. Okay, then ionic strength is around point zero eight molar, and surface tension is around fifty two newton per meter. Osmotic pressure of milk is around seven hundred kilo pascal, and water activity is around point nine nine three, and if you know the redox potential of milk, it is around point two two point three zero volt. This is the redox potential of milk. So these uh, values of different physical properties of milk must be remembered always uh, by a direct technologist. Thank you.